Welcome to the EDI SS Connect New Provider Registration Tutorial. To register for EDI SS Connect, go to connect.edissweb.com in your web browser. New providers will go through a two part process to register with the EDI. The first part is account validation. And the second part is adding transactions. Transactions are what type of work you will be using EDI services to complete. For example, electronic claim submission or electronic remittance advice. This tutorial will be covering part one, account validation. To start your registration, click on the green register now button. Screen, you'll select the provider option. At any time in the process, you can use the back button to return to the previous step. The numbered progress bar at the top of each page will help you keep track of where you are in the process. As a reminder, vendors cannot register a provider on their behalf. If the account will be administered by a vendor, it is the provider's responsibility to first establish the account by registering. Next, you must enter your 10-digit billing MPI and 9-digit tax ID or social security number. Rendering NPIs are not required to be registered and will be removed. For the checkbox below the tax ID or SSN field, Unless you are aware of what SOAP and MIME protocols are, the HTTPS connectivity option should not be checked. If it is checked, you will be required to purchase and submit a digital certificate. Click Continue to advance to the next screen. On this screen, you will enter your company information. All information on this page is required. The personal contact information on the bottom portion of this form is the primary contact for this account. You will be able to add additional users to access the account upon successful account creation. When done, click Continue. Next, you will choose a username for your account. This username must be unique between 8 to 20 characters and contain no spaces or special characters. Choose a password for your account. Your password must be 8 to 16 characters, consisting of at least one uppercase letter, at least one lowercase letter, one numeric value, and one of these special characters. Dollar sign, pound, or hashtag sign, asterisk, dash, or underscore, and contain no spaces or repeating characters. Confirm your password by re-entering it. Complete the text verification by entering the characters from the image. Additionally, you will need to agree to the EDISS and HIPAA terms and conditions before you will be allowed to continue with your registration. Click Continue to proceed. Next, in the left column, you will select the state you are registered with Medicare to do business in. To select your states, highlight the state and click Add or drag the state to the right column. The Remove button can be used to move a state from the right column back to the left if selected in error. If you are registering for American Samoa, Guam, or Northern Mariana Island, you would select Hawaii as the registration state. Once all applicable states have been selected, click Continue. Next, check all lines of business, professional, institutional, and or dental that apply. Check the state-specific lines of business that apply to your MPI. When all lines of business have been selected, click Continue. 
Account settings require you to choose who will administer your account. If you choose the I will option, you will maintain control of all your account information and will set up all your transactions you will be submitting. If you choose the vendor option, control of your account will be released to a managing vendor once the vendor accepts the assignment and you will not be able to change any information or manage transactions as it relates to your accounts. At any time, a provider can switch their control back to themselves in account settings. These options will be discussed later in this tutorial. If you selected the I will option, you are required to choose what software you will use to process your transactions. Select Ability, PCAs, or Other. If you have selected Ability, PCAs, you will need to accept the associated software licensing agreement. Once complete, click Continue. If you selected the vendor option, you must choose a vendor by searching either by vendor name or vendor trading partner ID. The trading partner ID is a unique number assigned to each vendor by EBI. By selecting a vendor, it means that the vendor would have control of managing the account and all of the information within it. It does not mean that you are set up so that they can perform transactions on your behalf. They would need to set that up for you. Only vendors that accept managing vendor responsibilities are available in the search results. Once you have chosen a vendor, click Continue. You have completed part one of your EDI registration. Your account will now go through a validation process. You'll receive an email from admin underscore no reply at Neridian.com within three to five business days with a link to log into your EDISS Connect account. This is an example of what the email will look like once the account has been validated. When you receive this email, you will then proceed to part two of the registration. Thank you for viewing the EDISS Connect New Provider Registration Part 1 Tutorial.